Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some CCSP practice questions. These are my self-made questions. I also covered some questions in past. If you do check those videos, it will definitely help you for your CCSP exam preparation. My name is Prab Nair and for more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to, to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. Without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay, so the first coffee shot we have here is which of the following is the most critical in hypervisor? Keyword is hypervisor. Hypervisor is basically base for hosting all the virtual machines and all that. So question talking about which is most critical. Option A, integrity and availability. Option B, integrity, confidentiality. Option C, availability and confidentiality. And option D is availability and authenticity. See, I'm looking for the integrity availability because if hypervisor is compromised, it could lead to compromise the entire systems. It, can, it will be compromised the entire platform. So accuracy, and uh, integrity of the configuration is very important. Second thing is hypervisor services are unavailable. It can impact the entire architecture. So I can consider that option. Then second is integrity confidentiality. Hypervisor itself doesn't store any kind of a configuration. It is used to host the machines and machines store the data. So I want to ignore the B. C saying that availability and confidentiality, but if someone modify, then integrity gone. So C removed availability on authenticity again, authenticity driven from my integrity. So if you ask me about the architecture, suppose this is the hardware we have. I'm talking about the type one. And on top of it, we basically have a hypervisor. And on top of it, we basically install the machines. So you can imagine how important is the configuration of the hypervisor. What is the need of the integrity of the hypervisor configuration? If someone compromise the hypervisor from there, he can able to access all the machine. If hypervisor services are unavailable, it can impact the, all the guest host. That is why if you ask about the opinion, the best answer is a integrity and availability. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay. What is the most adequate way to monitor activities across multiple virtual machines systems in a cloud environment? So question talking, what is the way to monitor the multiple virtual machines systems in a cloud environment? So first is create a standard configuration for VM use in your organization. Makes sense. Option B, create a configuration guide can provide the guidance on the use of a cloud services, but configuration guide is just used as a reference to build the system. Integrate all virtual machine with IAM controls. Yes, with the, with the help of IAM controls, we're talking about the authorization, but question talking about monitor the activities. What is the best way to monitor? And option D, integrate change management with virtual machines. Definitely, if you have a change management process by which we ensure only authorized changes to be introduced. So question was talking about what is the most adequate way to monitor the activities across the multiple virtual machine system in a cloud environment. So my answer is basically A. The reason why is very simple. If you have a standard configuration, okay, if you're creating a standard configuration for VM use in your organization, it will basically uh, providing a uniformity. And if we have a multiple configuration, which is called variations, it add the complexities and it make the monitoring for unauthorized use more difficult. And if organization using a standard pattern, it is much simpler to identify the malicious behavior and enforce the configuration policies. That is why if you're having a standard configuration across the system with the help of tool and everything, we can able to manage effectively. That's why the answer is basically A. And until unless we don't have a standard configurations and all that, it is difficult to integrate the virtual machine with IAM and change management also. So somehow C and D is basically part of the A. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay. For application services and enterprises use storage as a service from a cloud IS provider. The enterprise is tasked with safeguarding personal information. The keyword is personal information stored in the cloud. Which of the following is the most effective way to protect information residing in the cloud? So question talking, what is the most effective way to protect the information in the cloud? Implement software encryption makes sense. 
it save cost also implement hardware based encryption to generate the key and reside in the customer side implement the strong contract with educate control to protect the data and option d is basically implement the hardware based encryption to generate the key reside in the provider side if you reside the key if you keep the key with the provider then it is a unauthorized disclosure of a data first of all we don't have any kind of a visibility on the cloud so d remove that for sure a is also remove we can because software based encryption compared to hardware is basically less secure so a and d is removed now we left with b and c we can go with the contract but contract it's it's basically a reactive control if any issue happen according to contract we will resolve the disputes so we can use a hardware based encryption solutions which generate the key and by which we encrypt the data and then we upload the data in the cloud that is why the most educated way to protect the information is using a using a hardware based engine by which we basically generate the keys and encrypt the data and today we using lot of solution like hsm kind of a solutions we have in the industry that we basically prefer to use that's why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next coffee shot okay so management console is a very critical component of a cloud environment it is a console by which we can manage the entire cloud like you know we have a azure cloud portal and all that so it definitely it's a very important console what is the best practice you would like to suggest to the enterprise when they deal with the accessibility of the management console option a access to management tool should be tightly controlled with an educate enforcement of need to know restriction and least privilege which which makes sense need to know means subject to requirement we give access option b access to management tool should be given to administrator that is also true access to management tool should be restricted to the enterprise that is also more secure but if you talking over d it is saying that isolate the network it mean the console we are trying to access it should have a isolate network encryption should be utilized for the data in transit like vpn and have a established dedicated network administrator networks with need to and least privilege so somehow a is basically part of the d only giving administrator concern you know giving access it's a, it's like a single point of access so some in some cases they disable the administrator account you know they don't use a root account so isolate network dedicated administrator network encryption over the transit with need to know which is more like a defense in depth solution so if you ask me as a cloud security advisor for the accessing cloud management console this is the best practice i would suggest that's why i'm going with the d as a answer let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which of the following services utilize the fog computing option a smart devices such as mobile phone tablets wearable smart sensor iot serverless microservices it automations and d transport services see i directly want to eliminate c because it automation is a common type of a services so that is basically removed transport service there is nothing called as a transport services so we left with b and a serverless and micro is a part of a containerizations which is used in any kind of a computing but we have a dedicated computing for iot and smart devices which is called as a fog computing so any question specifically talking about iot okay wearable smart devices mobile computing for that we have a particular kind of computing that is called as a fog computing so this is that is where the answer is a If you find this video useful do share me your suggestions what kind of a few videos you want from me, from my side on CCSP and do check my previous CCSP question videos definitely help you to understand the CCSP questions uh, perspective and if you new to my channel do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos thank you so much